What were your previous bands called? Um, I mean, before number 12, I didn't really have a previous band. Like, you know, just jamming with friends and stuff like that. But um, after the number 12 breakup, I did the Composite City. And even last year, I did a second Composite City record. And um, Boyer's Kaleidoscope was the other band that's more like fusion y, proggy, kind of rock and stuff. <laughs> and how about uh, your favorite touring memory? Touring memory. There's a couple of great ones. I think we, all, for me, it was really nice to do a tour with the Blackout Pact. Uh, they were from Colorado, and Full of Troy. That was one of my favorite tours that we did. And how about recording memory? Recording memory. Ah, maybe Nuclear was a really fun recording experience because we were up in like the Catskills area, like the uh, like Woodstock area. And uh, just having a good time, just hanging out. And we're able to stay there while we're recording. So it's beautiful up there. And how about uh, one of the craziest things that's happened on tour? Craziest things? Well, for starters, today we had to push our van <laughs> up, uh, the minivan, all the way up a hill to the gas station because we ran out of gas. So that was today's crazy story. There's always crazy stuff though. So uh, I don't know. You never know what the road's gonna bring. It's it's always there's a lot there's been a lot of really interesting times probably getting stuck on a mountain somewhere in Colorado on an overpass while there was a winter storm it's close to uh, you know near-death experience <laughs> and what would you say the albums are about mainly the albums uh, they're about a whole various um, it's just a, a, just a wide variety of topics really you know things that have happened to us social things uh you know social issues uh, things that we we tend to speak about a lot and, and just care about or that just mean that have had an impact on us so really it's it's just personal with the the lyrical content and the energy that it carries out of all the songs that you've written which one has uh the most meaning to you like personal meaning <laughs> Where's my money, Brad? Give me all my money. Where's my money, Brad? I would say maybe uh, maybe jaywalking is a, a really you know it's a song that I think uh, has a lot of uh, the like the way the story happened in regards to the gentleman who had passed away. So it it, it was actually that song I, means a lot, but. Uh, Cradle in the Crater now that it comes to me so sorry I think that song really was something personal because it was a, a dear friend of ours uh, about their son so that's a really personal song I think so. and your first guitar current guitar and first song you learned guitar My first guitar first guitar was an acoustic guitar had that for a while probably some like cheap Ibanez acoustic or something like that then I got an electric guitar and that was my first uh, Jackson like a Jackson super strat type of guitar. Still have that somewhere. And then my first like real more like a uh, bit of a high end guitar was like a prestige um, Japanese like Ibanez at the time that I bought. But I worked hard when I was like 15 and was saved up to get that, that guitar. <laughs> first song you learned? First song I learned, damn, I don't even know. Probably like. I think it was some Nirvana song or something, <laughs> something really like basic, you know, some Nirvana. So I was really into a lot of the grunge stuff, so probably some alternative songs. And when you guys started out, did you ever think that you were going to be as big as you are? Well, I don't think we were quite big, <laughs> so, but, uh, you know, we have, I definitely, it's an honor to have such a great following, I, I would say in an underground sense. Uh, we definitely never expected to have any sort of, we, we always did this for fun and just uh, it was in a, a way for friends to play some music and, and for the, you know, for the most part it was always like that. Then when things start picking up, you know, you have to kind of treat it a bit more like a, like a business, but also still maintain the integrity of, of what the energy is, is like and the music and playing together. Where was the guys first show at and when was it and what bands did you play with? 
I think it was at this um, rehearsal spot, I think. And we weren't even called number 12 yet, so that was <clears throat> a first show with a bunch of just friends we invited and people that, that came, squeezed them all in a room, and <laughs> we played for them, like on the sound stage. So. What well, were the bands who opened for you? I have no idea. How about first local bands you ever saw? First local bands? I maybe like I didn't re I wasn't big into too many local shows that I would go to. I did capture like some punk bands, like local punk bands and stuff like that that some friends were into. Um, I immediately started going to like Black Sabbath shows and Deftones and stuff like that. And Pantera. That was, a, <laughs> that was my uh, time. How about favorite candy bar and favorite venue that closed down? Venue that closed down. And favorite candy bar. Candy bar. I would say I could tell you my favorite candy. It's not candy bar, but I was really into Sour Patch Kids a long time ago. So I would always eat a lot of Sour Patch Kids. Now I don't eat it too much because it's you know <clears throat> just it has gelatin and stuff. So I don't really eat that anymore. But uh, that was my favorite candy, the sour stuff. And venue probably CBGBs was a fun venue that we got to play at one point. And what weapons would you use in the earlier zombie apocalypse? Probably just a knife. <laughs> and what would be some good advice to give to somebody who wants to be in a band one day? Do it and just and just keep playing and have fun with it. Just keep it's just a big part of being in a band is, is getting to know each other. It's a, it's a, it's a relationship and, and you need to develop that. And as you grow together, you start to find out different things about each other that comes out in the music. Um, otherwise, it, it might come out just not really authentic and, and uh, you want it to be authentic, I think. And what would you rather do? Swim with the shark, swim with the whale, fly an eagle, ride on Bigfoot's back, or ride on a unicorn? It's between swimming with the whale and probably Bigfoot. Bigfoot, I think, is my take it though. And if you had to make a song for a CD compilation, what song would it be? Song. Hmm. It would probably be something for a movie. Want to do some film score? <laughs> That's what I would. I would film score something. And what other talents do you have besides music? I teach yoga. And when you were younger, did you play in any sports teams? No, terrible at sports, unfortunately. What countries do you want to go to that you haven't been to yet? I am planning to go to Africa at some point. How about favorite vacation you went on so far? India. Dream house to own? Dream house. Um, I would just like something small and simple, like a little Adobe house or something, or one of those herd ships. Actually, that would be the great, a nice, nice house. What movie have you seen the most? Movie? I don't know. I usually don't watch movies more than once, maybe twice. That's about it. So I don't. That's kind of a tough question. So, you know, I just watch a movie once. That's it. Try to absorb it as much as I can. If you could have made any video game series, what video game series would it have been? I'm not a big video gamer, so I don't, I don't know. How about mythical creature you would own? That I would own? Yeah. Mythical creature... A gnome. How about worst restaurant experience you had? Worst restaurant experience... Possibly, man, I don't know, I'm not sure. You know, sometimes you don't get treated well at a restaurant, but it's not their fault. Yeah, everybody has a bad day, so it's, it's okay. Weirdest food you ever ate? Weirdest food? Um, maybe, maybe an octopus or something back in the day when I would eat some of that weird stuff. Now how about exotic animal you'd be? Cheetah. Would you be a kung fu master, ninja, samurai, or sign assassin? Yeah, samurai. Cartoon character? Um, but yeah, if you guys 
need the merch stuff, it's uh, in the that that bit. Cartoon character. Mm. Maybe Doug. <laughs> Superhero. Batman. Would you be an author, a promoter, a record label owner? Author. Would you be a demon, a wolfman, an angel, a gargoyle, or a leprechaun? An angel. <laughs> NASCAR rider, snowboarder, or CEO of a company? Um, none of those. <laughs> Chubacabra, Loch Ness Monster, or Snow Yeti? Snow Yeti. If you were a cover band, who would you cover and what song would you make? Probably a cover band, maybe like maybe like a Skid Row cover band. <laughs> Would you be the sun, the moon, star in the sky, or galaxy? The moon. Would you be a Transformer, Power Ranger, Ninja Turtle? Ninja Turtle. Kung Fu Master, Ninja, Samurai, and Silent Assassin. I think we did that one. It's <laughs> a Samurai. If you met a genie, what would your one wish be? Peace in this world. Warrior, jungle man, or caveman? Jungle. Radio host, BMX rider, or skater? Skater? Yeah, let's go on a skater. Cowboy, astronaut, or hunter? Astronaut. Gladiator, soldier, or spy? Spy. Greek god, you would be? Maybe. Uh, Too much responsibility. <laughs> would you be a zombie, a vampire, or shapeshifter? Vampire. Pharaoh, king, or god? A dentist, phone app maker, architect. Architect. Wizard, warlock, witch, or sorcerer. Sorcerer. And how about your favorite camping trip you went on? Um, climbed a volcano in uh, Guatemala. That was really nice. That was a nice camping experience. First time you got starstruck? Um, maybe meeting out. And out of all the albums that you guys have recorded, which one took the longest? We always record our, our albums in like two weeks, so they're all about the same. Your dream studio to record at? Mm. Mm. I don't know. Maybe all the big studios have closed down, all the ones that I used to have, so I don't really have one. Dream collaboration? Collaboration. It's a tough one. Maybe with uh, Radiohead. <laughs> Songs played at your funeral? Uh, probably some God's Video Black Emperor or something. Near death experiences? What, what's the question? Well, what, would you, what, what were your near death experiences? What near death experiences have I had? Yeah. That's a long story. <laughs> I don't know. I get that's a that's a that's kind of pretty uh, a wild question for for me to answer right now. I gotta head in soon, uh, so okay, one more. Yeah. Fireman, cop, boxer, or scientist? A boxer. Appreciate. It. Thank you. You got it, bro. What's your name? Mm -hmm.